Hello everyone, this is Daniel from fitnessblender.com and today we're gonna to be going through a Board Easily upper body strength training routine. Now, if you've never done one of our Board Easily routines before, basically all that means is we are not going to repeat a single exercise. So every single set is going to be a different exercise. We're still going to be doing four different exercises per muscle group. So you're gonna make sure you're gonna hit those muscle groups really, really well. You're gonna get nice and sore from this, but you're never gonna repeat anything. So this should be a lot of fun and definitely shouldn't be bored while doing this. So we have your warm up and your cool down included, so you don't need to worry about those. And the only equipment you're really gonna need for this is an optional set of dumbbells. You can do this with just body weight only, uh, just working against yourself, but we definitely recommend using uh, some dumbbells to help make sure you're getting a really, really good strength training routine in there. With that said, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds apiece. Timer going here. We are starting off with a sidestep cro arm cross. So just nice and slow, work your way into it. So just nice and slow, step left to right. Those arms come across in front of your chest with every single step. Just make sure everyone, you alternate which arm is on top. Just back and forth. Keep those lungs open, start stretching those shoulders out. Remember, we're focusing on upper body today, so really focus on getting those upper body joints and muscles nice and limber. Nice deep breath, just keep going a little bit longer. Switch off to shoulder roll, so nice and slow. Pull it up, down, then back around. So in the front, you're squeezing together, and you pull it back as you drop. Just alternating back and forth. Again, keep those lungs open. Really working on building that range of motion with every single repetition. We're going into big arm circles next. Nice big stretch over your head and reverse. Back behind you, reaching back behind you, overhead, crossing in front, and then cross in front. And reach back behind you as you drop. Just like, like I said, alternating back and forth, trying to get as big of a circle as you can, trying to stretch that shoulder joint as much as possible. You might even actually start feeling a little bit of a, a burn or fatigue in those shoulders. All right, we're gonna do a squat with a push pull, so just nice and slow, squat down, press out, work against yourself as you pull back in, work against yourself as you push back out. Nice and slow, back and forth. Just getting that leg moving in there just to get a little extra blood pumping around your system. Warm yourself up just a little more. So you can do this with a low pull or a high pull, whichever you prefer. All right, we're doing a deadlift with a ventral raise next, so feet just about shoulder width apart. You're going to drop down Lift those arms so they're straight up above your head, and then slowly down as you stand back up. So keep that back nice and flat, just hinging at those hips, and back up. So doing a straight leg deadlift with a ventral raise. Probably gonna feel that in those shoulders a little bit as well. All right, side reach to side crunch. So you're gonna step off to the side, so uh, right leg back behind you, right arm over top, and then you're going to crunch those two together. Just off to the side, then crunch it down. Off to the side, crunch it down. If you can, stay just on that one foot to help uh, to work on that balance as well. If you need to, step out to the side, crunch, let it touch, and then back out. All right, same thing on the other side. So left foot back behind you, left arm over top, Stretch to the side, and then crunch down to that left. Stretch off to the side, crunch to the left. If you can, do it in one fluid movement, moving nice and slow under control. That balance is working against you here. Feel free to tap that foot down at any point. Just trying to make sure you're getting a full range of motion. Uh, stretch across, and crunching over. All right, overhead uh, push-pull with a march. So you're going to do an overhead press and pull down, but you're going to add a march to it. So press up and down, up 
and down, just alternating which foot you bring up each time, working against yourself with those, uh, with that arm movement. A nice, slow, controlled pull up with that knee. All right, boxer shuffles, just stay up on those toes. Sort of warm up those ankles a little bit, just trying to get a little bit more blood pumping around your system. This isn't specifically for uh, upper body, but we're just trying to get that blood to start really pumping around. Ah, just keep those lungs open. We're gonna be moving into a ventral uh, jumping jack and a regular jumping jack, just alternating each repetition. On this next one here, about five seconds. So a ventral jack and a regular jumping jack. Just back and forth. Keep those lungs open. Move nice and quick. If you can, start moving faster as you go through these, as long as those joints are feeling up to it and those muscles are feeling up to it. Keep that shoulder joint nice and rigid. No bending those elbows. You want to keep almost a perfectly straight arm. All right, let it relax. Take a nice deep breath. Grab those dumbbells. We'll be right back to start into the strength section. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready to do our first group. As you can see, I have my dumbbells here ready to go. I've already looked through what exercise we're doing and I kind of picked out uh, roughly what weights I'm gonna be using per exercise. You might wanna do the same thing before you start in. We're moving pretty quick from exercise to exercise. As you can see, I also have a bench here. You do not need a bench. I just prefer using one and I happen to have one. If you happen to have one, I suggest using it as well. If you don't have one, all those exercises that need the bench, you can do just laying down on the ground or uh, uh, seated on a chair. So with that said, let me get my timer started here. We're starting off with a chest press, uh, doing just a regular wide chest press. I'm gonna drop my weight here a little bit. All right, lay down on that bench or on the ground. Arms straight up above your chest, nice and slow, out to the side right back over top of that chest. Just nice, slow, controlled movements. Not moving quickly, not slamming those weights together. That's bad form and bad control. So just take your time. Controlled movements, get as much range of motion as you can with each repetition. Just keep those lungs open, no holding your breath, no arching your back. Elbows should be straight out from one another. As you drop down. All right, drop those dumbbells. We're going to be doing a reverse row or a bent over row. I'm going to drop my weight again here a little bit. All right, so bend over about chest, uh, about uh, feet about hip, hip width apart. You're going nice and slow. Pull those arms up and out to the side. So we're doing a wide row. Elbows up and out to the side and back down. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Just like our chest press. It's nice and slow on the way up. Nice and slow on the way down. Try to get those elbows up as high as you can. And again, same thing. Elbows should be kind of pointing in exact opposite directions from one another. Relax, all right, back to chest. We're doing a different exercise. We're doing a reverse fly next. Drop my weight down here. Back to the ground or that bench. Hands above that chest, nice and slow. Out the side and right back up. We're gonna try this alternating. So one arm out, back up, pause. Other arm out, back up and pause. It's nice and slow. Again, working on that range of motion as far as you control. If you feel like you have a really limited range of motion, you're lifting too much weight. So you always, always want to go over more range of motion than you do more weight. Jump these guys down, doing an alternating reverse fly. 
drop all my weight off of this one because this is going to hurt. <laughs> These flies are always rough. So again, nice flat back, just like we did with our last bent over row, but this time one arm at a time, up and out to the side. Take your time. Try not to open your chest with that arm. So you don't want to do one of these kind of motions. You want to try to do a nice slow raise with that arm, keeping that shoulder pointed down towards the ground. Keep those lungs open, no holding your breath. Keep that back flat, no letting your shoulders round. Just focus on that form. All right, those are our first four done. Moving on to the next four, doing a close chest press next. Let's see. Let's lay down on the ground or on that bench. Close chest press is going to be down by that rib cage, right back up over top of that shoulder. Nice slow controlled movement. Keep those elbows right in next to that rib cage. That wrist should be staying pretty much right above that elbow. Don't let it come in over top of your bicep or push out past your elbow. All right, let that relax. Moving on to our next, it's going to be a close bent over row. Drop that weight. Bend over, those arms come straight up next to that rib cage. Similar motions to what we just did, this time just facing down. So those elbows pull right up next to that rib cage. You want your wrist hanging pretty much directly underneath that elbow. You don't want to do a pull to here. You're pulling back to your waist. Keep that back flat. You want to feel like you're pushing that chest forward every single time you pull. That'll help you keep that back flat as well. Relax. All right, two more exercises. Back to the chest. We're doing just a regular push up here. Move my bench out of the way just a little bit. All right, just a traditional push up. Elbows out nice and wide. Hands a little wider than shoulder width apart. Keeping that back flat. You can go down onto those knees if you need to. That's perfectly fine. Do a full push up if you can. Main thing is just keeping a straight line from shoulder to hip or from shoulder to ankle, or shoulder to knee, I should say. That half version, it's straight line from shoulder to knee. Nice slow controlled movement for full version, straight line from shoulder to ankle. That relax. We are moving on to, let's see, a bent over butterfly. Okay, actually I'm gonna do this with no weight at all because this is gonna be pretty difficult. So you're going to actually keep your arms up and out to the side. So, flat back, bent over, arms come up, out, over top of your head, back to your sides, right back up again. So, this is, Focusing through that entire range of motion from uh, lateral to ventral, or overhead to, to your sides, I should say. Um, through that rhomboid, through that shoulder blade area. Try to keep that chest as parallel to the ground as you can. Try to keep your arms outside of your field of vision. If you can see your arms and you're letting them droop, so you want to try to make sure they stay up really nice and high. All right, let it relax. Take a second. 
We're gonna take a deep breath here. Make sure I did all these right. Yeah, we did, okay. So take a second, we're gonna take a deep breath. We'll come back and do the second group, which is going to be our uh, shoulders and lats here in just a second. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready for group number two. This one's going to be focusing on more shoulders and lats, kind of up through that, that the back of that rib cage there. So same idea, we're gonna be doing uh, eight different exercises, none of them repeats, uh, one set per exercise. So let me go ahead and get my timer started here. Starting off with just a traditional overhead press, so grab those dumbbells for that. Standing nice and straight and tall. Dumbbells up to those shoulders, press straight up over top of your head, Back down to your sides and pause right there. So nice and slow, press up, nice and slow, back down to those shoulders. Keep those elbows out nice and wide. Keep that back nice and flat, no leaning back. Keep a, a neutral spine as best you can. Again, lungs open, no holding your breath. Try to get a nice full extension. You wanna keep those arms back out of your field of vision. And let that relax. All right, we're doing pullovers next. So laying down on that bench or on that mat. Flat out on your back. This one is going to be uh, palms facing up. So basically as you drop down, you want those palms facing up towards the ceiling or down towards those toes as you're over those shoulders. Just nice and slow out, nice and slow, right back up. Just keep those lungs open, keep that back flat against that mat. You may have a tendency as you start getting really low towards that mat to let that lower back lift up. Or as you get those dumbbells down close to the ground or close to that mat. So just keep that back flat. As much range of motion in that shoulder as you can. If you feel like you're really restricted, then you might want to go ahead and drop that weight. Just take your time. And let it relax. All right, drop those dumbbells. We're moving on to an alternating ventral raise. So I'm gonna drop that weight all together. These ventral movements are always Difficult. So an alternating ventral raise is up in front. You can either bring it to just to shoulder height or you can bring it all the way over top of your head. Whichever you want to do personally, it's up to you. That overhead just can give a little bit more range of motion. And again, kind of similar to that pullover, you want those uh, hands facing forward away from you at the top of that range of motion. We're facing back down towards those thighs at the bottom. Keep those lungs open. Try not to swing. Try not to get any momentum to get that weight up. You wanna do that whole movement just nice and slow, under control. And let it relax. All right, alternating pullovers are next. Actually, I'm gonna leave that weight right where it is. So lay down on the ground or on that bench. This time your palms are gonna be facing in towards one another. And start up one at a time. One arm drops out, comes up and pauses above that shoulder as that other arm goes out and back up. If you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you're going to do the motion alternating so the dumbbells pass each other at about a 45 degree angle or so. It's gonna make those muscles just have to work a little bit more that 45 seconds rather than getting that rest at the top. Let's keep it going. Again, palms facing in towards one another. Keep that back flat against that mat or that bench. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the next one, which is gonna be a lateral raise. I'm gonna keep that same amount of weight again. So this time those arms are coming straight out to your sides. Standing nice and straight up and tall. 
Dumbbells come up just a little above shoulder height. Just bring them up nice and slow down. Again, just keep those lungs open. Keep that back neutral. No tilting your back, your chest back or forward. Just try to keep it like a regular standing position. Those arms are starting to give out on me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to feel pretty jelloy at this point. Start getting a nice good burn going. Almost done. All right, let it relax. Drop just one of those dumbbells. We're gonna keep one of them for a side pullover. You can either lay down on that uh, bench or on the ground, whichever you happen to have. Arm starts directly above that shoulder. Make sure your shoulders are perpendicular to the ground. One arm comes over top of your head, stops above that shoulder. Over top of your head and back over top of your shoulder. Try to keep that elbow as straight as you can. A little tiny bit of a bend is okay, but try to keep it pretty well locked out. Keep those lungs open. Arm circles are next. We're going to drop that dumbbell for just a second. Focusing on those deltoids, those shoulders. Those arms shake out. Now bring them right up, straight out, arm to arm. So straight out uh, in opposite directions from one another. Doing a little circle around that shoulder joint. So you want to go the same amount above that shoulder as you do below that shoulder. If you need to, stand in front of a mirror or just look from side to side. Just kind of get an idea that you're roughly in the right spot. We're gonna switch about halfway through here. Go ahead and switch. Reverse in that circle again, keeping it just right above and right below that shoulder joint. Almost done. Ooh, and let it relax. All right, we have one left to go through, and that is for the other side, that other uh, single arm leg raise, or single arm raise. So, and then lay down on that bench or that mat, arm up above your head, and start it up. This is our last one. So, nice and slow down above that head, right back up, pause above that shoulder. Again, try to keep that. That elbow as straight as you can. A little bit of a bend is all right, but nothing like <laughs> letting it drop to a 90 or something like that. So trying to keep that arm as straight as possible, letting it fold out over top of that head as much as you can control, only to where you can control. done. Go and finish that one up. Let it relax. All right. That is the last exercise for that group. Take another little break, grab a drink of water. We'll be right back to finish off that last set of strength. All right, everyone, this is our last group of strength. Going through these exercises just like we did before, a different exercise for each set, uh, doing kind of a superset, so moving back and forth between two different muscle groups. This time we're focusing on bicep and tricep. So let me get my timer started here. We're starting off with a single arm tricep extension, starting off that left arm first. So just one dumbbell at a time, straight up over top of your head, nice and slow, drop it down back behind your head and right back up to a full extension. Just keep those lungs open, keep that back neutral. Try to let that dumbbell drop behind your head as far as it's comfortable. 
keeping that elbow directly above your shoulder, making sure that you can't see your upper arm out of the side, your peripheral vision there. This nice slow controlled movement, full extension of that arm, down as low as you can go, trying to keep that upper arm as stationary as possible. Almost done. It's five seconds left. And let that relax. All right, we're doing a hammer curl next. I'm gonna that same amount of weight here. So hammer curl is basically with the palms facing in towards one another. So nice and slow. Back nice and flat. Slowly curl that hand up towards that shoulder. Slowly back down. Again, palms facing in towards one another. Keep that elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Don't let it pull out from underneath. Otherwise, it'll just help you cheat a little bit at the top. So if you let that elbow pull forward. So you just want to keep it tucked back by that rib cage for every single repetition. Nice, slow, fluid movement. Squeezing that hand up to that shoulder as tightly as you can. And back down. Keep those lungs open. Right, let that relax. All right, going back to that overhead tricep extension. Just make sure you're using the opposite arm you did last time. So hand up over top of your shoulder. Nice and slow, flat back. Drop that hand behind your shoulder and right back up to a full extension. Again, keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint. No letting that elbow kick out. And make sure you have that arm pulled back far enough that you can't see that bicep out of your peripheral vision. And keep those lungs open. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Full range of motion or as much as you can control. If you feel like you have to stop at like a 90 degree on that elbow, and you're using too much weight, you need to drop it down a little bit. There's five seconds left. And I relax. All right. Next one is a dumbbell curl. It's a traditional curl alternating with a 90 degree hold. So every single time, you're going to stop with that elbow at 90 degrees. So start with that left. Drop down and pause at 90. Right comes up. Pause at 90, let that left drop all the way. Pause at 90. Just alternating back and forth, holding that opposite dumbbell steady at 90 degrees as the other one moves. Nice slow controlled movement. Those lungs open. And let that relax. All right, moving on to the next one, which is a skull crusher. I'm gonna keep the same weights again. Lay down on the ground or on that bench, whichever you have handy. Hands are going to be pace, facing in towards one another, directly above that shoulder. Bend at that elbow. Bring it straight down next to your ears and right back up again, directly above that shoulder. Just nice and slow down. Nice and slow back up. Try to keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint. All that movement just coming from that elbow, not from that shoulder. Keep those lungs open. Back flat against that mat, no arching it up. Relax. Moving on to our next exercise, which is going to be an overhand curl. I'm going to try to use the same amount of weight here. Can't go much lower with these dumbbells. So overhand curl. So we, you're going to keep that palm facing down as best you can. Do this alternating. One arm up, down, and same thing on the other side. Just 
Keep those lungs open. Back flat. Again, just like with a regular curl, you want that elbow directly back underneath that shoulder joint. Kind of pin to that rib cage. No letting that elbow pull forward. And let that relax. All right, for this next one, we're going to be doing a tricep dip. You can do this completely on the ground, off of the off of a uh, bench, or off of a seat, whichever uh, you have handy. I'm going to do this off my bench here. Just hands, nice about hip width apart, nice and slow. You're going to drop yourself off the edge of a chair or bench, and right back up to a full extension on those arms. If you want to do this version off of the ground. Basically, just gonna have to hold your hips up just a little bit with those feet so you can get that range of motion with those shoulders. You're just gonna have a little bit less range of motion on those hands or on those elbows, I should say. Just keep it going. And my arms are turning to jello. I don't know about yours. Five seconds left. Try to get one more repetition. Whoa. All right, one more exercise. We're doing a raise half curl. Actually, I'm gonna steal, I think I'm, I'm gonna try this with these, with these dumbbells here. I'm gonna use my slugs, because it's nice and light. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring those arms up to shoulder height, straight out, and just up above that shoulder, or sorry, above that elbow and right back down again. So it just changes the angle on that bicep just a little bit. It's gonna limit that range of motion. We're only doing half of that range of motion through that elbow. But it's just gonna be a little bit different movement. Should be enough to really tire those arms and especially shoulders. Just keep that back flat. Oh, and let that relax. All right, good job, guys. And the hard part is done. All we have left is to do our cool down and stretch. So we'll be right back to start into that. All right, everyone, take a nice deep breath. We're almost done here. All we have left is that cool down stretch. Let's go ahead and get started here. We're doing each one of these for 30 seconds a piece, starting off with an arm cross stretch. So this is really nice and basic. Shake those arms out for a second. Bring that left arm up across your chest. Grab that left arm with uh, that elbow with that right hand and pull across. Just get it up towards that neck, across those shoulder blade, or excuse me, across those collarbone, as close as is comfortable, and then pull across. Most people have pretty limber uh, rhomboids, so you might not feel this a bunch. You should feel a little bit up in that shoulder socket, though. Switch sides. Grab that elbow. Pull across. Hold it there. Again, uh, using that left hand, grabbing the right, right elbow, pull across, get that arm up next to those collarbone, and pull across as close as is comfortable. Try to make sure you're keeping that chest flat, you're not rotating with that pull. Let it relax, we're doing a chest stretch, so find an open piece of wall or door frame, fingers facing back behind you, and just rotate on that arm Facing back, like you're trying to look around and see that hand in the opposite direction. If you want to feel a little bit more, uh, stretch that palm and through your forearm. Just kind of step across that hand a little bit and rotate back. If you want a little bit less, just go the opposite direction. If you want to feel a little bit more in that bicep or tricep, just rotate uh, up or down. Same thing on the other side. 
it's usually like I meant to say bicep uh, or chest. So if you want to feel a little more chest, turn that uh, inside elbow up. If you want to feel more in your bicep, turn the inside of your elbow facing forward. And adjust wherever you want to to feel more in your chest, more in your bicep, or more in your forearm and palm. Relax, we're doing an overhead tricep stretch next. So left hand to left shoulder, grab that elbow with your right hand and pull across as far as is comfortable. You might be more flexible than me, than me. you might be less flexible than me, it doesn't matter as long as you can feel a stretch and it feels comfortable. You don't wanna to pull to a point where it feels, uh, where you're feeling pain. A little bit of discomfort is what you're looking for, not pain. Let that relax, same thing on the other side. And hand to your shoulder, grab with opposite hand to elbow and pull it across. Just keep those lungs open, just focus on that stretch. Looking for an open piece of wall again for this next stretch. We're gonna do a um, double handed wall stretch chest stretch so both hands up on the wall push your chest down between those arms just stretch them back behind you as far as they'll go one foot forward one foot back for a little extra uh, support or balance or you can also do this with just feet shoulder width apart whichever is more comfortable for you if you do it with one foot forward just make sure you switch every once in a while Let that relax. All right, we're doing a bent over rear stretch next. So deep breath, tip over forward, hands back behind you, and then try to just let gravity pull those arms back down behind you to try to stretch the front of that shoulder a little bit. Up. We're doing a wrist stretch next. So grab that wrist straight forward. Ooh, feeling a little lightheaded here, <laughs> tipping forward. Try to pull that hand back behind you a little bit. If you want to grab that thumb, add that in there too. Should feel a nice stretch through your thumb, through that palm as you pull this back, also through the front of your wrist. This is a, a good one if you have uh, issues with like carpal tunnel and that kind of thing. If you want to, you can even just focus on just that thumb and pull it back. Same thing on the other side, so grab that thumb, pull it back. You should feel it stretch through the palm of your hand, through the thumb, and that forearm, the inside of that wrist. It's a nice deep breath, just relax. And let that relax. All right, that is our last stretch. If you wanna do more stretches, by all means, continue on on your own. Otherwise, this workout is complete. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time.